Picture this, you're standing on a massive stretch of reclaimed land on Singapore's eastern edge. It's 1,080 hectares of pure ambition, that's bigger than Manhattan's Central Park, and beneath your feet, the foundation of what might be aviation's boldest gamble yet. This is Chunky Terminal 5, a $10 billion answer to a question nobody's asking out loud. What happens when airports stop being airports? Forget everything you think you know about terminals. When T5 opens in the mid-2030s, it'll handle 50 million passengers annually. That pushes Changi's total capacity to 140 million. Imagine the entire populations of the UK and Canada flowing through one gateway every single year. But here's what stopped me cold. This isn't about passenger numbers, it's about Singapore betting its entire future on a radical idea. While other airports expand, T5 is transforming into something we've never seen before. Three interconnected piers, vast underground tunnel networks, and architectural features that seem pulled from science fiction. Why pour $10 billion into concrete and steel? Because the Asia-Pacific aviation market is about to explode, nearly doubling by 2040. Bangkok, Seoul, Dubai, they're all racing to capture this growth. For Singapore, standing still means falling behind. Yet, Terminal 5 breaks every rule we know about airports. Green parks where there should be gates, rooftop solar farms generating power for 20,000 homes, spaces designed for locals who will never board a plane. This is not an airport, it's a city disguised as a terminal. Over the next few minutes, I'll take you inside this architectural marvel. We'll uncover the engineering secrets buried beneath its foundations, the human stories shaping its design, and the strategic vision that could redefine air travel forever. What if I told you Terminal 5 isn't really about planes at all? Let's find out what Singapore knows that the rest of us don't. Here's where things get surreal. Terminal 5 isn't built on Singapore. It's built on water. The entire complex sits on 1,080 hectares of reclaimed land. That's roughly a thousand football fields of ocean transformed into solid ground. At its heart, three massive piers, T5A, T5B, and T5C, stretched out like fingers reaching for the horizon. The numbers alone make my head spin. Daily capacity, 380,000 travelers. That's an entire city's population flowing through every 24 hours. The runway system extends over 10 kilometers. The taxiways, 40 kilometers of precisely engineered pathways. But wait, it gets crazier. Beneath this megastructure runs 18 kilometers of hidden tunnels, baggage systems, utilities, transport networks, all invisible to passengers above. It's like discovering Manhattan has a secret twin city underground. Why build something this massive? Prime Minister Lawrence Wong calls it economic sovereignty. Translation? Singapore's survival depends on staying ahead of Bangkok's Sawanapum, Seoul's Incheon, and Dubai International. Fall behind, and you'll lose everything. The engineering challenges alone would break most cities. Building on soft marine clay required deep cement mixing to create stable foundations. Sea walls rise five and a half meters high, preparing for storms that haven't even happened yet. The entire substructure spans 140 hectares of pure engineering defiance. But here's what fascinated me most. Terminal 5, it's designed to fail gracefully. Modular zones can isolate during pandemics. Systems can scale up or down based on demand. It's not just resilient, it's anti-fragile. Think about that, an airport built to get stronger from stress. Yet, all this engineering serves a deeper purpose. Terminal 5 promises to feel human at superhuman scale. How do you make 380,000 daily travelers feel welcomed, not processed? That's where the real magic begins. And trust me, what comes next, it'll change how you see every airport forever. Close your eyes and imagine the opposite of every airport you've ever hated. That's Terminal 5's radical promise. While the full architectural details remain under wraps, the vision is revolutionary. Efficiency without sterility, scale without sacrifice. The modular design adapts like a living organism. Festival season? Expand the cultural zones. Health crisis? Isolate and contain without shutting down. 
each district flows into the next, yet maintains its own identity and purpose. But here's the game changer. Sustainability isn't an afterthought, it's the foundation. The rooftop hosts one of Singapore's largest solar arrays, generating 43 megawatts. That's enough clean energy to power 20,000 homes, slashing carbon footprints in this equatorial furnace. Now, picture this. You're rushing to catch a flight, stressed and tired. Suddenly, you're walking through a garden. Native plants brush your shoulders. Natural light floods the space. The terminal doesn't feel like a terminal. It feels like Singapore's beloved botanic gardens learn to handle luggage. This isn't accident, it's intention. Every corner will showcase local art and culture, not museum-style displays behind glass, but living exhibitions you move through and interact with. The building itself tells Singapore's story, past, present and future, converging in steel and chlorophyll. Remember earlier when I said T5 breaks every rule? Here's proof. They're designing spaces specifically for people who aren't flying. Public parks, community areas, cultural venues, all inside an airport. When did you last hear of locals visiting an airport for fun? The message is clear. Terminal 5 refuses to be just infrastructure. It demands to be experienced. But all this human-centered design, it hides something extraordinary. The technology powering T5 isn't just advanced, it's alive, and what happens next will blow your mind. Your face is your passport, your luggage knows where to go, and the airport, it's thinking. Welcome to Terminal 5's nervous system, where AI orchestrates a ballet of 380,000 daily dancers. No lines at check-in because there is no check-in. Biometric systems recognize you instantly, tracking your journey from entrance to boarding without a single document check. But here's where it gets wild, security reimagined. Instead of one massive checkpoint creating bottlenecks, T5 scatters screening clusters near gates. They expand and contract based on real-time passenger flow. The main terminal stays fluid, moving, alive. Now, look outside. See those vehicles gliding without drivers? Autonomous baggage transporters. They navigate their own elevated highways, guided by AI that predicts problems before they happen. Your bag travels through 18 kilometers of underground tunnels, moving at speeds of up to 9,000 bags per hour during peak times. Every decision the terminal makes is data-driven. AI predicts turnaround times, assigns gates, reroutes during storms, all invisibly all instantaneously. The building literally learns from every passenger, every flight, every delay. But technology at T5 serves a higher purpose – survival. That 32 megawatt solar array on the roof, it powers a small town's worth of operations. Every airside vehicle goes electric by 2025. Low carbon concentrate forms the bones, high-tech glazing and passenger cooling cut energy demand by 40%. Even water has intelligence here. Permeable pavements and retention basins handle flash floods. Raised infrastructure guards against rising seas. This isn't just climate-aware, it's climate-ready. Here's my question. When did airports become more advanced than most cities? Green corridors thread between taxiways designed for wildlife migration. The terminal doesn't fight nature, it invites it in. This is biomimicry at architectural scale. If Singapore can build this, what excuse does anywhere else have? But T5's true impact reaches far beyond its walls. What happens next will reshape Singapore's entire economy, and maybe yours too. 50,000 new jobs. Not someday, now. Terminal 5's construction alone is birthing an entire economy. Robotics technicians, data scientists, renewable energy experts, skills that barely existed a decade ago are suddenly Singapore's hottest careers. But zoom out further, aviation already generates 5% of Singapore's GDP. T5 doesn't just extend that, it multiplies it. New sectors emerge overnight, autonomous fleet management, biometric security development, sustainable aviation tech. The terminal becomes an innovation laboratory disguised as infrastructure. Here's the strategic masterstroke. Singapore Airlines and Scoot consolidate at T5, transforming it into a megahub. 
This frees older terminals for new international carriers. It's not expansion, it's multiplication. The integration gets deeper. New MRT lines, expressways, even C-Links converge at T5. Land at the airport, catch a high-speed train to Malaysia, hop a ferry to Indonesia, all without leaving the terminal's ecosystem. Singapore stops being a destination and becomes the essential node in Asia's network. But let's talk about the elephant in the room. $10 billion? That's $13 billion Singapore dollars, a staggering bet on one project. What if air travel stalls? What if competitors catch up? The risks are real, tangible, and keeping economists awake at night. Yet, one local business leader told me something profound. Singapore's only option is to stay ahead or be left behind. There's no middle ground in the aviation game. This isn't just infrastructure investment, it's existential strategy. T5 represents Singapore's belief that geography is destiny, and destiny can be engineered. The question haunting everyone, will it work? History suggests betting against Singapore is foolish, but this time, the stakes have been higher. The entire nation's future rides on concrete, steel, and the promise that tomorrow's travelers will choose Changi over everywhere else. Which brings us to the biggest question of all. What does Terminal 5 mean for the future of travel itself? Stand back and see it clearly. Terminal 5 isn't an airport. It's tomorrow, disguised as today. We've walked through gardens where gates should be, witnessed AI orchestrating human movement at impossible scale, seen sustainability transform from buzzword to foundation. Every detail, from leaf-shaped roofs to electrified baggage highways, whispers the same message, airports don't have to be awful. But here's what keeps me up at night. What if every airport could be this? Imagine terminals as destinations, not obstacles, places where locals gather, where art lives, where nature thrives alongside technology. What if the most stressful part of travel became the most inspiring? The ripple effects are already starting. Other cities watch Changi's example, asking hard questions about their own infrastructure. New standards emerge for sustainability, for human-centered design, for seamless global movement. The bar hasn't just been raised, it's been launched into orbit. Terminal 5 is a gamble wrapped in vision, powered by audacity. Its legacy won't be measured in passenger numbers or profit margins. It'll be measured in how boldly we reimagine the spaces that connect our world. Think about this. Singapore is betting $10 billion that airports can be more than airports, that infrastructure can inspire, that the future of travel isn't about moving bodies efficiently, it's about moving souls meaningfully. Are they right? We'll know in a decade. But I'll tell you what I believe. The next time you walk through an airport and feel that familiar dread, remember Terminal 5. Remember that somewhere, a group of dreamers decided airports could make you feel alive.